Hello, Scorpios. This is you versus them for the 12th through the 18th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Hmm, I feel a, I feel like a lot of you guys have been looking for the one. So what I'm getting here, Virgo energy here. Um, looking for your path. Looking for, I think somebody that um, you you know you want to spend your life with. Some of you are feeling like you're getting older, and it's time to settle down. Um, maybe there's one particular person you're looking at. Maybe it's this person that you're looking at. So let's take a look at, <laughs> excuse me, wow, what's going on with them. Let's see. What's been going on with them? Hmm. <laughs> Probably a little stubbornness. Let's see. What's been going on with them is the moon. Um, I feel like this person is really trying to figure out what it is that they want. Get in touch with their feelings. Um, maybe they've been hiding some things. Maybe they've been hiding their feelings for you even, okay? Some of them, I feel, have been spending time with their mother. Um, maybe getting some advice from their mother even. But I think that, um, I think this person is learning about themselves here. Okay, to be honest with you. And probably keeping a lot to themselves. Alright, with this moon being here. Piscean energy. Cancer, I feel. Let's see. What is keeping you guys from this person? We have the devil, the um, devil there. Maybe they've been working a lot. Let's see what's going on. Seven of Cups. That is your card there. Hmm. I think there's a lot of confusion um, surrounding this person. Um, I think right now you guys are maybe kind of, um, it's almost like you're being forced to explore your options, is what I'm getting from some of you. Um, and you're trying to see through the confusion. You're really trying to see, you know, is this a person for you? Or is there somebody else out there for you? You're not really clear on this. There's a lot about this person that you still don't know. And I think that's kind of what's like hindering you and what you're looking at, what you are intent on finding, okay? Let's see. I don't know why I flipped that deck up like that. The cards are facing me. Let's see. And the Five of Cups is here for them, okay? Um, I feel this person is Either they are like sad over you guys or they are sad over someone else. Okay. Um, and I think that maybe, maybe there was an issue in the past um, where there was a lot of ambiguity in a situation with a certain person that this person is still trying to get over and really trying to work through their feelings on. I feel like this person kind of goes back and forth um, thinking about certain things, having regrets, um, going in and out of basically having these like ups and down moments. You know, they have these ups and downs in their mood, like this fluctuation. And so they're, they're kind of dealing with something right now is what I'm getting and it may be related to you but it may be related to someone else here as well um, somebody that I feel like um, that they feel like they cannot reconnect with they cannot reunite with um, that that love is gone and maybe that they'll never find another love like that in this situation there was a very strong committed relationship here okay whether with you or with with someone else okay Let's see <clears throat> what is currently happening with you guys. Trying to um, get your emotions in check. I feel like you just want to be happy. You're going towards your happiness because there's something um, going on right now that you're not happy with. It's not pleasing to you, okay? Three of Wands, very significant. Going towards things, waiting on things that you feel like are going to make you happy. Okay, you're not you're not putting up with anything else, and I think that's why you are like kind of in recluse right now, because you're trying to figure out what it is that's going to make you happy. It's what I'm getting from you guys. 
trying to figure it out. Okay. Aries energy there. Hmm. All right. Let's see what's currently going on for them. The Hierophant. Studying, learning, um, learning about themselves even. Okay. Um, but, you know, trying to... <clears throat> Here I go getting choked, choked up again. Um, somebody does not want me to say this. This person is stuck in their ways, I feel. Um, and I think they that's why they're going through these different phases. Because they're used to doing things their way. Okay. But I think what they're doing right now is trying to figure out if doing things their way is really going to get them if it's really going to get them what it is that they really want in their life like they're trying to find a way i feel to compromise in this situation or in any situation because right now they go in and out of sadness in and out of feeling like you know all is lost they can never have a love like this again or you know never be this happy again or as happy as they were with you or with someone else i'm getting with you guys but um because of course their energy is in your energy so i'm assuming it's with you guys because we do have your card here scorpio as well so um, they're, they're going through um, some changes here and they're trying to figure it out let's see <clears throat> what is <coughs> excuse me what's influencing you guys here <clears throat> somebody has a lot to say somebody definitely has a lot to say that they are not saying here okay one of you has a lot to say because I keep getting choked up and it's like um, but not expressing it though that's the thing <clears throat> then you guys have the Emperor the Emperor does not excuse me gosh the Emperor does not make um, real fast moves they don't they don't usually you know make moves that they haven't given a lot of thought to okay and so i think that you guys are really kind of focused on doing what's right doing what's right for you doing what makes you feel good um but you don't want to make a mistake is the thing okay i'm getting that a lot of you guys just don't want to um make the mistake or lend your energy to situations that you know are not good for you standing in your power right now feeling very confident that you do have options and it is like which one of those options or which you know three of those options are you going to choose okay aries energy there again let's see <clears throat> What's influencing them? Then I see the Eight of Cups trying to pop out there. That they walked away. I think this person probably um, walked away from you guys and now feeling very regretful about it. Okay. Hmm. They're healing. And I could definitely see that. Definitely see that. I feel like this person feels like you guys are their destiny. I feel like they're yours as well. And maybe, um, maybe you guys already knew with the, with the hermit here and the star here. Um, I, I feel like you guys already knew that this person was your soulmate. That this person was possibly meant to be your one, your one and only. But I feel like this person walked away. Okay, but now they're realizing that, yeah, this is my person. And I, I think they're feeling very regretful surrounding a decision to walk away here, okay? And possibly the reason why they're feeling regretful that, um, you know, that you guys won't reconnect or they'll never have a love like this is because there's some, there's some behavior they did here that they feel like they have opened you up to other 
options, to other possibilities for you to walk away and be with someone else. And um, that that is like breaking them down is what I'm getting here, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What is coming in for my Scorpios? What's coming in for my Scorpios? What's coming in? Eight of Wands, communication. Hmm. Moving. Going forward with excitement, with vigor, with, you know, I feel like somebody is going to contact you guys here. In the next several weeks, you guys are going to hear, I feel, from, if it's not this person, which I'm getting strongly that it is this person, because they, they see you as where they're supposed to be. They see that now. They haven't spoken it to you. No, I don't get that. So I get that there will be communication coming in for a lot of you guys in um, the next several weeks, maybe a couple of months, okay? Let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for them? Five of Swords. I feel like this person definitely um, will fight for this. They will fight for this. And if there's something that they need to negotiate on, I feel like they will. Okay. Because people in this card are kind of like giving, they, they are compromising, they're giving in, they're, they're putting down their swords here. Which is withdrawing from the argument. Withdrawing from the conflict. I feel like this person is going to come around. Aquarius energy here. Um, Taurus energy as well. Okay. Definitely coming around. What is the advice? The advice for the blockage. I'm sorry. What's the blockage for Scorpios? Blockage for Scorpio. Seven of Wands. Feeling defensive. Um, you guys may have blocked this person out after they've hurt you. But that is what's blocking you from this connection. And you know, when you block this person out energetically, okay, then um, I don't want them. I don't want them to come back. Um, that energy is exchanged. So that's what's blocking them from coming towards you. Um, if you guys definitely want communication with this person, whether it's to resolve an issue or whether it's to reconcile, um, I think you have to be open to it. Okay, um, you need to use your your skills of manifestation and um, welcome this energy in. Whether or not you want to reconcile or not, even if you just want to have a conversation, if this person ghosted you, left you with unanswered questions, you have to be open to it. Okay, let's see <clears throat> what's blocking them. What's blocking them? Three of Wands. Hmm. Seeing the truth. I think they feel it. They definitely feel it here with the Five of Cups and the Star. They definitely feel that you guys are the one. But I don't think they're really, you know, quite open. Quite that open to really seeing you for who you really are. Okay? They're not following their path currently again they're not talking but i definitely get the feeling that this person is getting ready to open up they're getting ready to open up once they pick themselves off of this counter right here <laughs> and stop drinking and ignoring what their heart is telling them i i definitely feel this person is um coming towards you guys not just energetically but um Actually, coming towards you, you know, uh, it's coming down, it's pouring rain. Let's see. What's the advice for Scorpio? What's the advice for Scorpio? Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. You guys are on the right path, you're on the right track. You have three sevens here um that is definitely angelic guidance 
definitely with the three sevens here. You guys are on the right path. You're on the right track. Keep following your heart. Keep doing what you're doing. If you guys do not want this person back, that's okay too. That is okay too, okay? Um, but if you do, then it's definitely for you guys to kind of open up your energy, okay? Open up and, and allow you know the energy to shift because I think when you guys open up and you kind of forgive and you and you um, and you don't like completely block them out then you send them that healing energy because I get the feeling that you guys are definitely connected here all right let's see <clears> that <throat> advice for them what's the advice for them The Ten of Cups. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they need to open their eyes and really um, see that all is not lost here. Because we're going from the Five to the Ten of Cups. All is not lost here. There is still um, so much love present in this situation to be had. And they need to see that. They need to see that here. Um, I feel like this person, if they haven't already had a tower moment, I feel like it's definitely coming to shift this energy because they have two fives here right now. So I definitely feel like, you know, if they haven't had um, a true awakening to this situation, it's definitely coming. It's coming for them. And it's going to shift this energy. And this person, I definitely feel, will come towards you. I know I've said that before, but I'm saying it again because I feel it so very strongly here. Let's see what the outcome is here. What is the outcome for Scorpio? Temperance. Yeah. Being happy. Be content. Whether it's with this person or not. I see you guys, you know getting everything it is that you you want here as above so below I feel because again I feel like you guys are on the right path you're doing what your heart is calling for you to do and I definitely see you um, being happy being balanced in your life balancing your emotions with your actions and doing the things that you feel are good for you that you deserve and um, being appreciative of things even, okay? Let's see what the outcome is for them. This is also reuniting. Let's just put that out there, okay? Yep. Especially with the star here. I feel like, yeah, definitely. Anyway, outcome for them is the two of wands. Look at this. <laughs> Looking right at that ten of cups. You see that? Let's put that in the camera. Looking right at that Ten of Cups. Now, I see two scenarios here. Either you guys are going to go on by yourself, be happy, possibly with someone else, because we see you, you know, only looking for those things that are, you know, right for you, what's good for you, looking for what you deserve, okay? It may not be with them, even though you guys are connected, even though I feel like you guys are soulmates. Does not mean that you will be with them. I feel like... This person definitely is definitely coming back. I just don't know if it'll be too late when they do, is the thing, okay? So they may be looking at you, and their choice is taken from them, and you guys are with someone else. Seeing you happy with someone else. Seeing what they could have had. Or this person is going to follow their path and come back to you guys so you can have this Ten of Cups together, okay? Two different scenarios here. So we have Aries here, um, Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, Sagittarius, I think I already said that, um, and um, Virgo, and maybe another Scorpio like you yourselves, okay? All right, guys, so that's what I have, and I'll be speaking with you soon.